hello everybody and welcome to my channel so this will be another update for my sample someday and since the last time uh, working on my five items I have actually managed to finish three of them which is super exciting and also what is even more exciting is the fact that I'm actually updating every week since I started even though I am expecting possibly to be updating like every other week at times when I'm not able to film in time so it is Sunday today I am filming very late so it's almost not on time but I am trying to get this video as soon as I, as I film it to you so my three items that I have finished are the first one is from Dior this is the capture youth age delayed advanced cream so it was just a little foil packet sample this is what it looks like I didn't notice anything special about it it did have a pleasant scent it did feel, leave kind of a pleasant feeling on the skin but more than that it wasn't anything special and it is not something that I would purchase then we have a, a laboratories Filorga Paris isostructure absolute firming cream and also another foil packet this one took me quite some time to use up it had a really nice consistency it did leave a nice feeling on the skin but I could not see any difference on my skin using this or not using this so I would not get go out of my way to repurchase this or purchase this at all but if I got another sample I would probably use it and the last thing here is from from Ole Hendriksen this is the truth sugar glow polishing mask facial mask this is what that one looks like and I really did like this actually uh, it had a really nice scent it had these sugary beads in it so as I was leaving it on my face for about 15 minutes I think afterwards it was really nice to kind of exfoliate the face as I was removing it but giving a sample size in this packaging is super stupid because this has a bunch of sugary bits still left in here that I was not able to squeeze out because they are not able to go through this packaging I will be forced to open the whole thing up uh, in order to get everything out of this so that was kind of a stupid packaging for a sample but the actual mask was really nice so I don't know that I would go out of my way trying to find and purchasing this but if I had if I do come across it someday I could definitely consider purchasing it because it was actually quite nice to use and the two items that I'm still working on the first one I have been working on since the beginning I think this is the Vichy Laboratories Normadem Hialu Spot fast acting anti-imperfection whatever care this is what this one looks like so I'm still working on this one I'm just using it on some blemishes that I have here and there and I don't know if it does anything special but I'm using it and hoping it does I have no idea how far along I am with this one I'm just gonna use it and see how far it takes me then I have the Adriatic Essences shampoo this is a sample that I got from a hotel where I was staying on a trip last year and when I started this last week when I picked it up I was there and I was able to use it once or remember to use it once since the last since the intro of this product so I am down to the second line there and I will be continuing on to work with this throughout this project and because I have only two items in this project right now I will be picking out three more to use throughout the next upcoming week and here are my samples in my little glossy box and I'm just gonna dig around and see what takes me One. Two, and should I pick something bigger? Let's see. Three. Okay. So the first thing I have here is the Biotherm Blue Therapy Multi Defender with SPF 25. I am assuming this is some type of face cream. It's a foil packet, but this will take me at least a week to use up, I already know. And then we have some impossibles here. So the first one is from Urban Decay and this is the 
uh, eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden which is a nude matte shade so it's one of these cushion samples thingies and this will take me forever to use up I just know it because last year I worked on one of these throughout the whole year or two of them so this will take me forever and then we have a perfume this is one of the perfumes that is in my goals to finish up uh, for this year so this is the Moment de Bonheur by Yves Rocher it's a perfume and I it's not completely new as you can see but there is quite a bit of it still left in this little tiny bottle so I am about a little bit over halfway through it so this will take me some time and I do I haven't used this in a very long time but I remember this smelling very very um what's the word I'm looking for honey M very much like honey it's extremely sweet it's almost like really like honey straight up so it will take some time to use this one up but I will do my best so I do have some tough ones to work on throughout the upcoming week wish me the best of luck and please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and comment down below if you have any questions or anything to tell me. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!